Dude, you know, I was sitting here thinking about AMC stock, and it's crazy to see how many people talk about AMC one way one week, and then the next week it's completely different. You know, one week there might be synthetics that are completely unknown, there's no serial numbers or security numbers on the different stocks, and then the next week everything is serialized and the synthetics that are out there can disappear in a matter of time as long as the real share is covered. Guys, Things are getting a little weird, okay? And I hope everybody is realizing that if somebody tells you one thing one week and then it's completely different the next week, that's not a good thing, okay? But in this video, I want to talk about AMC stock and the probability that it squeezes. Because some people are telling you it's guaranteed. And it might be guaranteed in one sense, but there's other realities in which it's not guaranteed, so when it comes to the AMC stock short squeeze, I want to go over how and when AMC squeezes versus how and when AMC does not have to squeeze. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description for Weeble. Man, it is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit right now is going to get you at least five free stocks, and then any $1 crypto trade is going to get you your choice of $5 in free crypto. By far the best opportunity and the best promotion they have have going on right now so you guys want to make sure you check that out and uh, the bar gets down too so make sure sign up you're going to get in on the dip and it's going to be great but guys let's talk about amc for a minute because i man i see so many people saying so many different things and it's, it's crazy to me if two people disagree and i say one thing and somebody's saying something else you know for example i say Synthetic shares, these naked shorts, are probably extremely limited in numbers. There's other people who are going to tell you the synthetic shorts are in the hundreds of billions. They're just, there's unlimited synthetics out there, unlimited naked shorts out there, because these AMC shorts, they create them on a daily basis, millions and millions and millions of them on a daily basis, and they're just unknown. They're just out there living in the this unknown realm that, that nobody can prove. So it's okay to see two different people agreeing and disagreeing, but when somebody says something and then they change their tune the next week, it makes you wonder, what? Why? Now guys, AMC has been a squeeze play since the beginning. And I know along the lines of, as time goes on, people have turned it into a, a market cleaning play, a, a corruption and manipulation stopping play, and their, their battle cry for a free and fair market. But it started as a squeeze play. What is a squeeze play? You, as soon as those short shares cover, the game is over, right? Because that added demand of the short shares covering is what squeezes the price higher. Now, when it comes to a squeeze play, you need to keep a couple things in mind. Typically, a stock that has very high short interest on it is a bad stock. Financials are down. It's potentially facing bankruptcy, and people are willing to short it because they think that it's overpriced. Now, that is what we saw with AMC stock in the very beginning. AMC's fundamentals, extremely terrible, very, very heavy debt-ridden, and revenue, almost nothing because this, all of the theaters out there were shut down, and AMC Entertainment was not able to generate any revenue because their theaters were closed. You guys understand why. Now they have come a long way since then. And if we're going versus if we're going in a scenario where the shorts have to cover, it is a legal obligation when you short a stock, AMC included, whether it's a naked short, whether it's a real short, or whether it's you know some sort of a synthetic share, that 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 share of AMC that is short has to be covered. It is a legal obligation to do so. When? There's no timeline. There's, they can keep that short open as long as they so please. The same deal with you. If you buy AMC long, you don't have to close that share out. You aren't forced to close it at any date. It's not like a stock option where you have an expiration date. Short shares are not like stock options where they have an expiration date. If this, if the short 
can, if the hedge fund or institution or retail investor that is short AMC can pay the cost to borrow and, and they just don't want to cover AMC, they do not have to, but they are obligated. They, that obligation follows them along. And that might be a little confusing to some people since there is no expiration date on it. Uh, yeah, they have to, but do they really have to? The answer is yes, they do have to at some point. Now, the uh, let's let's go on a scenario where they don't have to cover because this is what everybody is always concerned about. If they can just continue to short this thing into oblivion, then yeah, you're right. That is it's a concern. The short shares on AMC will not have to cover under the circumstance that AMC stock goes bankrupt. Now, I know a lot of people out there are saying AMC is nowhere near bankruptcy. AMC has no chance of going bankrupt. Adam Aaron said the revenue is better now than it's ever been. Adam Aaron said that we have $1.8 billion in liquid assets. That is a record, year ending record liquid, or liquid assets. Sorry. And everything is looking better. It is true. Everything is looking amazing right now. But. Okay, there is a huge but. If you go through and you read the in not the income statement, you read the earnings report that Adam Aaron and AMC Entertainment put out there just a couple of days ago, you can see that it is a major concern for AMC Entertainment executives that AMC makes it through this year. That they could be facing bankruptcy if they do not have one of two things. If they do not get increased liquidity, meaning they're not able to go out there and raise more money, either through raising more debt, selling more shares, and diluting the shareholder, or some way of raising capital, they will face bankruptcy if they do not more than double their sales. Now, yes, if we keep up on the same revenue growth that we saw over 2021, AMC Entertainment will be fine. But if for some reason AMC is not able to reach pre-pandemic level revenue streams by the end of 2022, Adam Aaron and the executive team believe that AMC Entertainment could be facing uh, court-ordered restructuring, aka bankruptcy. Now, this is why the shorts remain. Everybody out there, the shorts would not, you know, everybody is, is throwing this narrative that the short thesis has been destroyed. And if the growth continues, absolutely, the shorts are in a very, very bad position. But if the growth slows down, if people do not continue to go to the theaters, if AMC Entertainment does not reach pre-pandemic level revenue streams, it is going to be, it's going to be difficult. Six billion dollars in debt, roughly six billion dollars in rent. AMC Entertainment has a lot riding on this growth, and I believe that the executives, Adam Aaron, is doing an excellent job to continue growing AMC Entertainment, but they are not out of the woods yet. So is it guaranteed that AMC stock squeezes? No. Is it guaranteed that AMC stock doesn't squeeze? No. Nothing in the stock market is guaranteed. I hope that everybody out there knows that. And I hope that everybody out there realizes that AMC is an extremely speculative investment at this point, as is any short squeeze. But guys, I want to know what you think, because you see everybody saying everything. What do you think when it comes to AMC Entertainment? Are you convinced that this is where you're supposed to be? Because I would not be here a year later, if I did not think that this is where I was supposed to be, I am confident and I am ready for an AMC stock short squeeze. I am ready for AMC to continue growing and I am ready for the stock price to go to these ridiculously high numbers that we've been waiting for for over a year now. I want to know if you're ready. Let us know down there. And if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. We will buy a Gemini Crypto.com in the description below. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.